last week in our analysis of crude i told you that the previous candle was a swing candle and if you see it trading above below 78 you can expect exceeding bearishness and see in fact it has gone close to 70 dollar levels very important support levels also yes it has achieved the highs but failed to sustain the 80 to 84 zone which we talked about is going to remain an extremely important resistance zone so now what to expect next week how can we profit trading crude oil next week we will see with the help of charts and indicators towards the end of this analysis i'll give you the trading levels and strategy for next week do watch till the end do listen to it carefully and note down the levels do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to press the bell icon and watch the daily updates and targets for crude oil and natural gas very early in the day with the asia session so do press the bell icon let's start the analysis now see oil has taken a sharp dip last time 70 dollar levels close to 70 that it has achieved now 70 dollar levels are certainly a very very strong support level here you can see the previous rally or launch point from was from these levels and yes it has achieved the same levels again can it breach this yes it has a potential to breach this but then remember on the downside if you look at the lows here we saw this earlier also we saw this previously also on the downside the lows or the downside is limited from here the possibility is there that 65 66 or uh, 67 this zone is if it continues to trade below 70 this zone is going to provide an increasing support but at the same time now let's have a look here see first green candle and then this sharp red candle now this is the first red candle re reversal from here possible but chances are less and yes it may give you a second and third red candle taking it till towards the zone and then the reversal might happen so this is one probability which we can see here because after this green this is the first red we can see it trading in red for a couple of weeks but let's see have a further detail look how far it can drop on the daily charts now on the daily charts it indicates that there could be a possibility of a reversal look at this look at the daily charts the bears have certainly diminished here see the candle size here this is certainly diminished and on the daily charts it is also signaling a reversal as the previous candle was kind of a doji here at the end of this red series of candles this indicates that there could be a potential retracement or the reversal should not be considered till the time it trades below 84 85 yes but there could be a retracement and how far that this could retrace you can see it is trying to trade in this channel and it has achieved the bottom of the channel the highs of this channel now at around 80 dollar level so this is one part to look at it next where to buy yes if you see it trading above the zone at 72.4 then possibility exists that we may see it rising a bit how far this can we may see it coming back till towards 74 75 levels which is going to be a very important resistance zone and if it breaks this you can expect a little more rise taking it for 78 levels but then uh, remember 70 dollar levels if it breaches certainly more bearishness can be expected that is one part to also look at it now this is on the daily charts now on the daily charts we also so show a uh, scene that uh, it is trying to get the support here and now let's have a look at the monthly chart now on the monthly chart see this is what we talked about on the weekly chart that after a green candle first red candle and second red candle so yes on the weekly charts it there is a probability that it can give you second red candle after the greener candle and hence you have to remain cautious of 70 dollars below that now the next support zone that is where you should look at see certainly 70 is a good support but see this candle this candle this candle this candle you will find 65 dollar levels is going to be the next support and then 62 and 60 this it may try to probably achieve before it tries to look forward to any reversal so yes if you look at this as a building it is this is the high is there it is completed the first half or the first level till here and in fact till 60 it has got the maximum support and from there we will see how oil behaves now next week if you see it trading below 70 certainly we have to go short again certainly we have to sell again but on the daily chart it appears that there could be a retracement we might see before it looks over to a drop and hence 74 75 levels certainly are achievable and in fact 
it can try to fly high till towards 7880 which is going to be the next resistance zone so this is one way to look at it now we have seen the charts let's have a look with the help of indicators what does the indicators are suggesting and if you look at the daily chart on the daily chart this is trading outside the bollinger bands and uh, yes it is uh, every day it is getting a pullback on the upside and closing at around the same bottom at the same time this is trading increasingly bearish now the 20 period moving average lying at around 79.2 and then the 50 20 and 100 uh, 100 period moving average all the three moving averages are diverging indicating increasing bearishness directional movement is bearish here it is divergent the stock stochastic uh, has seen a drop there now see these two together that on the candles that is signaling a reversal on the stock stochastic this is oversold this means that there could be a potential retracement on the upside taking till towards 74 75 and in fact 78 80 levels now look at the MACD this is increasingly divergent and increasingly bearish it is trading almost at the good support levels and but at the same time yes this is diverging this is indicating increasing bearishness I'll be watchful for the convergence from here the RSI is also trading at bottom and see this is trying to converge here let's expect that this could be the cusp of this and then we can see a rise this is just an expectation now let's have a look at the weekly chart on the weekly charts it is trading below the 20 50 100 moving average now the 100 period moving average situated at around 80 dollar levels yes it is also it also traded outside the bollinger bands but this week's move it certainly see the bands expanded and certainly this will give you it a uh, you can say that it can continue with the further bearish momentum because the width would have expanded next week and then the momentum to continue be watchful here but definitely on the daily chart it appears that certain uh, reversal or a retracement is expected directional movement bearish stochastic on the weekly charts has also again come back to bottom levels see whenever it has achieved the bottom it has seen a good rise and hence you have to remain careful here too the MACD is divergent and bearish here on the weekly charts the RSI is looking downwards and if you look at the monthly on the monthly charts you can find out trading below the 20 months average now it is looking forward to the 50 and 100 months average i have always maintained that 60 65 levels are certainly very very strong support levels for oil there is a potential for it to achieve those levels but then these are going to be the extremely important support zones directional movement was bullish so far trying to converge the stock stochastic on the monthly charts has come to oversold zone and now it has the potency it traded almost overbought for months now it is trading to trying to sustain the oversold zone and then this reversal can happen so achieving uh, 60 65 70 this zone it can try to bounce back and uh, let's see if it does the MACD on the monthly charts is divergent and in bearish and it is increasingly bearish here the RSI is looking downwards now we have seen the charts and indicators time for us to define the levels and strategy for next week and see next week first of all if you see it trading above 72 point rather you can buy at 72.0 itself but then 72.4 is my first resistance zone beyond that you can expect 73.5 and then 75 levels now this is going to be the first milestone at 75 this is very very important resistance zone and if it trades above 75.5 you can expect that there could be further bullishness which we might observe which might take it till towards 77.2 and 78.5 levels then the directly it may try to land at 79.2 and 80 levels now my expectation that this zone first should be providing it a maximum resistance and if there is a further rise it can try to achieve these levels because beyond 80 82 it is going to remain bullish and uh, e, so the expectation is that it can uh, retrace a little till towards 78 80 before it looks over to a drop that is my expectation trading above 80 certainly should be considered as a bullish uh, indication and then it can continue to fly on the downside below 71 itself rather i will say below 71.2 you can sell but then expect 70.8 70.9 70 
too and should provide a support see we had seen this this is trading uh, oversold for the daily and weekly charts and the monthly charts also hence the downside is limited possibly if, if it tries to drop below 70 for once you can expect 69.3 and then 68.4 to provide the support below that we may see 67 level this is going to be the next maximum support and then 65 levels so see this zone is going to be very very important 65 67 here it is going to get the maximum support and then below that at 60 in next few weeks it may try to achieve these levels before it tries to look forward to bounce back but be cautious at 65 67 this is certainly going to be a important support and hence you have to trade with a stop loss you have to trade with a trailing stop loss potentially i see for the next two to three days or till midweek we may see oil trading little bit of bullishness little bit of retracement we can expect 78 80 dollars cannot be denied you have to be careful but then from those levels the direction can be reversed and hence you need to be careful on the downside too take your positions accordingly trade with a stop loss trade with a trailing stop loss do not forget to like share subscribe and comment thank you very much have a great profitable trading week ahead thank you